Hello everybody, welcome back to Word 2016 Module 3 Formatting Text and Paragraphs. We're now in Part 3 and we're starting on page Word 60. Just to recap where we were from Part 2, we've just finished adding some formatting to our list and the tab settings. So we're working up at the top of page Word 60 and we're going to use um, Control and Home to move to the top of the document. And we're going to put our pointer inside of the italicized paragraph just below the header. So anywhere in there will be fine. And then we're going to go back up to the paragraph group. And we're going to look at the in, increase indent option. So we're going to use that. And you notice how it moved the whole paragraph over. We're going to come back down to step two. And we're going to use the decrease indent and we're going to move it back over. We're going to use the first line indicator marker. So here's your first line indicator marker. First line indent marker, I should say. First line indent marker. And we're going to drag that over to the one quarter inch mark. So that's going to be right there. So using our ruler, we know that's the one quarter inch. This is one half and that's one quarter. We're going to scroll to the bottom of the page. Bottom of page one. So we're still on page one, and we're going to look at the quotation that's just below the wild refuge. Um, and we're going to put an insertion point inside of this paragraph with the quotation. Anywhere in there is fine. We're going to go to the layout tab up at the top. We're going to choose indent left text box in the paragraph group. So here's your paragraph group. We're going to choose the indent left text box paragraph group and we're going to type in 0.5. So here's left. We're going to type in 0.5 and we can watch and see what that does. So that moves it over a half an inch and then we're going to indent the right 0.5. So down here on right we're going to indent 0.5. So you see how that kind of pulls that in as well. We're going to come down to um, step five and we're going to use control home to go back up to the top of the document. We're going to place the insertion point inside of the italicized paragraph again. So here's our italicized paragraph. We're going to open up the dialog box launcher from paragraphs group. We're going to click the special list so here's special list we're going to change that from first line and you notice over here how it looks we're going to change it from first line to none and we're going to say okay so you see it moves that right back over okay we're going to save our changes and we're going to move over to the next page after checking out our figures. We're at the top of page Word 62 on the next page and we're step one and we're going to make sure that we've scrolled into a disaster relief Nepal heading is at the top of the screen. We're going to select the three line list um, and at the home tab we're going to select the numbering arrow list from the list. So in the bullets we're going to choose the let me see if I can get that pop-up screen to show you. Okay we're going to this is the one we need to use is the numbering um, oh sorry no this isn't the one we need we need to use this one numbering list okay this is the one we need to use and I can quickly check that out so here we are and we've got 
three items on there. Okay, sorry about the confusion. We want to use the numbering list. And we chose the numbering list from the, from the numbering library. Okay, we're going to place our insertion point after Pocahara and Valley of Lakes. We're going to put it at the end of that. And we're going to press Enter. And we're going to type in Temples of Jan Janapura. Next, we're going to select the one on our um, list, so the number one, and we're going to choose bold. And you notice it bolded all of the numbers. Okay, we're going to select the list of items under last minute participants. So that's these items right here. And then we're going to go up to the bullet button. So we will use this one at this point in time, and we're going to use the check mark bullet style. So here's your check mark bullet style, and we're going to click the document to deselect, deselect the text. So anywhere outside of that will deselect that text, and we're going to save our changes. Okay, we're going to go to page Word 64, and we're going to go to step one, which is to use Control and Home to move back to the top of our document. We're going to select the five paragraphs, which we've tabbed, and we're going to add some shading to those. And we're going to come up to our shading in our paragraphs, and we're going to choose green accent six lighter 60%. So let's hover over. Oh, so this is this particular color, and you can see it in the pop-up screen tip. We're going to select the five paragraphs and drag the indent marker. We're going to drag the indent marker over. to three quarters inch mark. Okay, you can see that it actually changed the shaping of the fill. We're going to then move the right indent marker over. So here's your right indent marker. We're going to move that to five and three quarters. So that's here. Okay, deselect the text. Okay, and we're going to select the five paragraphs again, and we're going to add a bottom border from the list of borders. Then we're going to select the outside borders. We're going to select the five paragraphs. We're going to open up the border list. Hold on just a second. Let's try that. So we open up the borders. We come all the way down where it says borders and shading. We're going to choose the box. going to choose the box setting for the border. We're going to make sure we've come down and scroll down and choose the double line. We want to make sure we've got the green accent 6 darker 25% selected for the border. We want to make sure we've got one and a half points size or width for the border. And say OK. OK, so this gives us a border around the um, five paragraphs list. We want to select five paragraphs list again. And we're going to click the bold. So that's going to make that text a little darker. 
Okay, we're going to change the color of the text. So we're going to come up in the font group. We're going to choose the accent six darker, 25%. So that's this green, accent six, 25% darker, 25%. And then we're going to deselect the text. We're going to select the first line in the text. Okay, I see an error in my list. Let me let's let's make this correction while you're looking at this. There's I'm missing something here. This is from the tabs. So I'm gonna come over here to paragraphs and fix this. So here's your paragraphs dialog box. I'm gonna open up tabs. So this five does not it has two supposed to be on there and three that one needs to be removed. That needs okay, that needs to be cleared. Okay, we've got five and a half, and that needs to be two, and that needs to be set. And then we need to go three and a half, that needs to be set, and we'll say okay. Now, that looks much better. So you see how we've corrected that. Okay, and again, we went to the paragraphs dialog box, tabs, and we made, oh, let me see, I didn't, you got to select the text that you're working with first. Okay, we're going to come paragraphs, tabs. Then you can see your tab stops. You can ha have particular leaders involved with each one of these tab stops, in which case we were using two and setting that. So we're good for that now. All right, now I'm going to jump back to step seven on page 64. And we've already um, changed. We've changed the text. And that right now we need to take and fix the text for the um, first line, so we need to come up and change that to 14, and we need to make it uh, change the color to orange, accent 2, darker 25%, there it is, so there is the orange accent 2, darker 25%, and small caps checkbox in the effect. So we need to go into the paragraphs dialog box. No, fonts, fonts dialog box. And on our fonts, we need to make sure we've got small caps selected. Okay, that's that one. And we need to um, save our changes and then move to page word 66. Up at the top of page word 66, we're going to um, put our pointer before Macrolos, Lones, Inca, Highlands um, heading. Okay, that's at the pop, top of page 2. And click the insert tab at the top. And I'll let you know I did have a problem with this yesterday. So I'm going to um, click to insert an online picture. And I'm going to search in the group for um, type Inca. So I'm going to look for Inca in here. Okay. And I'm going to look for, um, let me see if they've got any clip art I can use. They've got okay, and we want to look for an image that's similar to the one they have on the right. If you don't have that exact image, you can use something similar. So I didn't find it yesterday. Let me see. If I can find it today. Okay, I don't really find it today either. Um, so I'm going to pick one similar, and I'm going to insert that. Okay, I'm going to resize this, and it has to be sized to 1.8. And up at the in the picture tools, up in the height, you can put 